Somebody asked me a question a while back about how someone who calls themselves a Christian can also be a fighter, and I'm going to answer that question today. I want to say right away that I'm not trying to sell anyone on my religion, and I do know that it comes off exactly like the geek that won't shut up about their niche interest, and I do not want to be that guy. There's many reasons for this misunderstanding, and I think that the confusion really comes from people not understanding exactly what was meant by the teachings Jesus handed down on high. People tend to misunderstand the general attitude and actions of Jesus as well as the stories described in the Bible. The general attitude of Jesus was to honor God and to be as good to each other as we possibly could be. Love thy neighbor. Be forgiving. Don't cause unnecessary harm to others. As society has changed and people have gotten away from the religion, these ideals have become muddied due to poor education on the topic as well as egoistic pursuits. Nowhere in the New Testament does Jesus ever say or even so much as give the vibe that under no circumstances should you ever fight or harm anyone. Not only was Jesus not a pacifist, he wasn't a punk either. He would hurt you. He told his followers to buy swords, and he also beat the hell out of money changers in the house of God. According to Revelation, he's also set to come back and exercise judgment on the unrepentant sinners of the world. Some interpret this to basically be him dragon shouting damnation at them, which, as they're still alive, would mean that they're going to die and go to hell. One thing I want to touch upon today is the fact that sometimes when you hear people saying things about Jesus and pacifism, it's coming from someone who's trying to justify their mistreatment of you and stop you from standing up to them. Jesus forgave a slap across his cheek in a time where that was essentially the physical equivalent of a yo mama joke. People killed for the entertainment of thousands in the Colosseum at that time in history. Forgiving a slap across the cheek is supposed to be an example of someone rising above a paltry insult and recognizing that it's better to just let it be as opposed to having it turn into a blood feud. In addition to this, it's a reminder that sometimes people are just having a bad day, or maybe there was a misunderstanding and they lost control, and they really don't mean what they said or did. They just weren't being themselves in that moment. I don't need to take shit from anybody in order to be a good Christian. However, I also don't need to fight everybody over every little thing that goes wrong. When I stand to lose something that I cannot lose, I will fight you over it. I'll also defend my religion as well as the honor of my friends, my family, and myself. Other than that, I really don't need to entertain impotent shouting, and really I'm better off just walking away in a situation like that. There's a strange belief that's very modern and boomerish that basically states that in order to love somebody, you have to be permissive of any and all behavior regardless of who it may hurt, and I believe this is one explanation for the misunderstanding. There was this weird fusion of the New Age hippie spiritualist movement with Christianity in the 60s and 70s by people who wanted to pretend they knew better than someone who went to a seminary and studied the Bible up, down, left, and right. Since the culture would end up coming to be controlled by these kinds of people, the narrative slowly became one of Jesus being a buddy of yours who just wants you to have a good time, and there really is no right or wrong. The fact is, in Christianity, there is a right and a wrong. I won't discuss whether I think those are good or bad. I'm simply saying that there is a right and a wrong, and any deviation from what is in the Bible is a bastardization or essentially just not Christianity. I think the church, as well as the baby boomers, are to blame for this because it was their job to teach the younger generations about the religion. Instead, many of them strayed from the path or bastardized Christianity and many other religions to fit their utilitarian wants and needs. And because of this, Jesus has been reduced to what could be called the ancient equivalent of that one kid in school who got really into the hippie movement and still hangs out around your local convenience store bumming cigarettes from people at the age of 28. I want to end this video off by saying that I understand you didn't know about this, and I'm not only glad that you asked, but I also want to thank you for being respectful about it. People usually try to weaponize questions like this to manipulate and shame others, but I could tell you were genuinely interested. I'm definitely not a biblical scholar, and there's better people to ask about these things, but I'm always happy to talk about this and answer any questions to the best of my ability. But that's all I have for you today. This isn't my typical content, I know, but it was partially fighting related, so I figured I'd make the video. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up on Instagram, at ScottSullivanMMA. Other than that, if you liked the video, leave a like and also subscribe for more. If you have any thoughts on the video, comment down below. And until next time, thank you very much and good luck out there.